Today, let us take a look at transposing our horizontal data to vertical in Power BI using Power Query. Hello and welcome to Learning Science. Transposing horizontal data into vertical means that converting column heading into a row values. This technique is also called as unpivot. Let us jump to the computer and start with some real life example. So here on your screen, you can see my CT temperature data. So the first column is CT and remaining five columns are month and year. And my requirement is I want to plot this kind of graph where X axis is a month and year and Y axis is temperature. OK, if I I am not able to plot this kind of the graph if the data is in same format. So we need to transform this data to produce or achieve such kind of the trend line. So that I'm going to show you in Power BI using Power Query. So let me first load the data. So I'm loading my data temperature data. Here is a US CT temp data and here you can see the this columns. Column one, column two, so we are going to format this one also. So to format this one, let us go to the Power Query editor. From here I'll click transform data. So once I will click on the transform data, it will open this data into Power Query editor. So first thing what I'm going to do, so I will select first row as column. So in the home tab, I'm already on the home in the home tab. So here. Here you can see option use first row as header, so I'll click here. So once I will click. My this column has city name and these are the. Month here, but power we actually store. Uh, data not in month and year. It will always store in MMDDYY format or DDMMYY format. So now what I'm going to do, I need to convert this data, date, date, date column into a row. So I will select all these five columns and go to transformation. And in transformation tab, there will be the here option unpivot column. Click on unpivot column and there is a last option unpivot only selected column. Click here. Once you click here, you will be able to see the all this your. Column heading is converted into a row value, so let me give name to this column. Same one. And here this is my temperature. Values, so I'll say temp. If you see the data type, if I'll go back to home and you see the data type, it is a text. So what I'm going to say, I'll say it will be the date. Temperature is already decimal number, so I'm fine with that with that. And this the city is already text. So I'll click here and say close and apply. So now if you expand here, you will see the CT column, month column and temp, temp, temperature column. So here one more thing I'll do, I'll select the month column and I want my data to be formatted as MMMYYY. -Y -Y. Okay. Other thing, I don't want any summarization, so I'll say here don't summarize. So after doing this, your data will look like this. So this is the city and the month, year and the temperature. So let me put two visuals. First visual is my filter. And second visual is line chart. Okay, in first visual, I'll say I want to filter on city. So I'll put city here 
And here what I'm going to do, my X axis will be a month. And Y axis is. Average. OK, and from here. So now you can see this is the my trend line from Jan 2021 to 2022. And from here, if I want to like, you know, filter, I can filter. Level, we can decide the like, you know. In value, we can say the decimal place is two. So now. My trend line. Is ready and as you know that I can filter from here. So that's all for this video. I hope you like it. And I request you to please subscribe my channel and also like and share. Thank you for watching.